Let's look at trimming and fine-tuning, and then we're going to look at some dynamic trimming. So a lot of times we edit in the timeline, and I move my playhead, and I see that I've got a cut point right there where I go from one scene to another scene. So I can grab my tool, and I can start making adjustments here to try and get this transition exactly where I want it. I can even go up and grab a rolling edit tool, and then I can move this around and try and set my edit points. However, there is a much better way to do this. So instead of working on the timeline, I'm going to press Shift T. And when I do, I get a two up display in the program monitor. Now I can trim in the program monitor and see exactly what I want. So as the wave on the left comes in, the wave on the right will come up and splash in your face. I wanna make my edit point well, let's say right there. And when I release the mouse, you can see the playhead jump to the right and created my edit point. Now if I press the space bar, what it does is a play around. So I press the space bar, and this is going to play a couple seconds on either side of the edit point while I watch to see how it looks. And this will just roll like that. If I'm happy with it, I'm done. If I want to make changes, I can press the space bar to stop and go through here and make adjustments until I'm happy, and you can see how the playhead jumped to the left in this case, and then play around again and see how that looks. So it really allows you to fine tune and be very precise with your edit point. So that's a look at trimming and fine tuning. Now some dynamic trimming. How does that work? So when my playhead is sitting here someplace, for example, right here, and I press Shift T, now I can use the J, K, and L on the keyboard. If I press the letter L, as this starts to move, if I press the letter K, it sets my edit point right where I press the letter K. Now pressing the space bar, again, plays around, and I see exactly where that edit is. Here's the J, goes backwards, L goes forward, and then K sets the edit. Space bar lets me play around and see exactly where I have that edit. And there you go, trimming and fine tuning and dynamic trimming. Now let's play this through to the end. And there you go. And I'll see you in the next video.